It's Sprawl O'Clock. We're going to get a rematch against Librarian, see if we're, uh, if we're doing better than we did last time. I suspect the answer might be yes. Although, we could, we could end up with some bad shuffles, if I'm being honest. The great cities of man. Ruined. And aflame. Okay, so... We like the looks of the creature den. Well, actually, maybe we don't. No, I think we do. I think it's creature den to hoarder. So we'll do we'll do hero no, we'll do assistance encounter cash, creature den, hoarder, assistance, hospital, resistance, lair, hero shrine. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, so So straight ahead is my preference. Yeah. This must can take the stress. I know an assistance encounter early isn't that great, but I wanted this fight specifically. Because we just get that little extra bit of resources. And... You and Dismas, you're full? Okay. It is the Warriors one, so we could pick up some smoke bombs here. Uh, we don't need any more food. Yeah. We literally don't need any more food, nor do we need the baubles. And yeah, we're going to do the creature down. We may be at the point where where the uh, the mastery isn't that important, and the creature den is uh, is not worth the uh, the price of admission. But ooh. One off lethal, you say. So getting Sarmenti up front means that if front mortar lands, it will be unlikely to land. I'm gonna get rid of that and get that finished. I think Paracelsus will get the kill on this guy without too much issue. No? He duffed it by one. Okay, that is, uh, that is exactly to plan. So satisfying. I don't think we're going to have another turn, but... All we could do is hit someone that was already dead with, uh, with our Plague Doctor, so... Four relics. It's going to be the difference maker. Mark my words. Yeah, we really... We may go hoarder directly into hoarder here. Because uh, I don't think we need the hospital that badly. Ah, oh, jeez. Really, there's just so much that we don't need here. Oh, 
Oh, those don't stack to two. Those really need to stack to two. Uh, I think. I don't think we're gonna use the charred litany. The fact that we used it as long as we did was uh, was baffling. So. Now we're clearing out the lair for a key that we probably won't use. I was a little disappointed with Paracelsus's first hit. You and Paracelsus? Yeah, that's fine. We'll take the vulnerable token. The Weber's going early. We can't really do much about it. So... Paracelsus is going to kill this one, so I'm just going to roll the dice on on that. Oh, hello, crit token. <laughs> How you doing? This is going to be a big hit for Paracelsus. 39? Ain't nothing to scoff at. Humph. Our, our improved dodge did not do the trick. And I think we just put in we just put in damage here. Uh, as much as I would like to do some like corpse clearing or something like that, we're basically just rolling the dice on trying to get some hits in. So I'm, I'm giving Paracelsus speed for a reason. Uh, well, it may not work out this way. My my plan was to try and get an indiscriminate science off, but I don't think it's going to work out quite right. Paracelsus is just taking a beating. So, first action of this turn, we want to uh, we want to axe this thing. Didn't really matter what I used there. That generated a strength token, though, so... Ugh. I'll use a scrap grenade just to, to get rid of some of this. Yeah, it's not locked, uh, Stefan. It it just means that it is a highly impactful quirk. Is the understand is my understanding. Take that for what you will. Uh, and it, it it is very very likely it might be a rumor, anyways. Uh, but that's that's what I have been told. It is. What is Paracelsus still isn't hitting that hard. I was promised more. Alright, 
this shouldn't be a problem. Oh. Real temptation to... Yeah, let's, let's get healed up. And also stealth. Means we take one more hit, but I think it's better. It's better for Audrey not to be hurting. Right through that dodge. 75% of the time, 100% of the time. We came out a little worse for wear, but only in the hit point department. Abandoned or forgotten. It is ours now. On all trinkets. Well, we're definitely going to be able to get all the trinkets we could ever want. Uh, although we may, we may end up spending all of it before we get there. I'm just, I'm just going to go hoarder, hoarder. I think everybody can take some stress because. We we need some cool trinkets here. Yeah, I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure, Stefan, but I'm reasonably sure that that is the uh, that is the what it denotes because I don't think it tells you. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't give you any tool tip on that in particular. Okay, big money. Big money. Fates. Oh, Snappy Swig. I do like Snappy Swig. I think we buy Snappy Swig. Fate's Foe Teller is, is cool, but not, uh, not it. And then I think I'm going to grab the Wild Tea just in case. Okay, and that's, that's enough for now. Oh, Snappy Swig. Okay, we actually, I forgot we bought something else. So then for now, I think... Snappy Swig goes here, which means that Raven's Reach goes there. All right, so less uh, less importance to going to the uh, to the other hoarder here. In fact, very little. So let's go. Let's just go left. We'll get an extra fight in this way and go to the hospital. We had a really tough time with the Librarian last time. I think we'll be okay this time, but... Bad luck on, uh, on not getting a, a crack at that guy before he, uh, he poofed. How are we this slow? That was a nice hit. The speed is actually a disadvantage right now, unfortunately. Lucky targeting. And we zap him. A trifling matter. We are the flame, burning brightly for all the world. Yeah, that's definitely true, Stefan. 
definitely true. I don't think we... Well, I guess we'll take him. So yeah, so we might choose not to give uh, Dismas a stake in spuds for fear of pushing him down to seven and not being able to utilize the snappy swig. Uh, that's an interesting thought. Because we're we're at, when we fight the seething psi, we're we're at neutral. Let's see, you you can take a hit with anyone. So seems like this is this one is just discounted. Eh, we'll we'll go for the we'll go for the Cadillac. Let's see if we can get some good stuff. I'm gonna grab that apples and cheese because I think we may, we may need it. I think we're full up. So, slime mold can go. There we go. For the first time in a while, we're, uh, we have a tiny bit of stress on someone. We've, we've done pretty well up until this point, keeping stress managed, but... Okay, no diseases. Fear of swine isn't worth getting rid of. So I'm going to grab two soothing pulstices for the final fight. Plotting pools, this is not valuable. And we have burn solve for the librarian. All right, Rob. Thanks for uh, thanks for visiting. Have a great night, and uh, I will see you when I see you. Ooh, scrap losing a scrap grenade. There's a bummer. I think dead ringer is not getting used. I was not vigilant. I won't let you down. Gets it with the burn. Nicely done, Dismiss. Man, stress healing's coming in fast and furious all of a sudden here. <laughs> do love, do love Paracelsus getting those shenanigans going. And then we don't need the combo here. Is this just a kill? 18? Yeah. Okay, nice. They all right. So press your Not a bad start. Oh, but then the dodge Suffering doesn't work. The improved dodge fails. Yeah, round one getting basically everyone dead, and then Sarmenti is uh, gonna finish the job. Nice. Okay, that's about that's about textbook. I think we're already sitting on an ethereal dust, so they don't stack to two. They really should. Yeah, that that animation when the uh, when the barricades fall over is uh, is quite nice. Yeah, this is this has been a fast uh, a fast run. Now you and Sarmenti are already back to full. All right, we'll take the speed and the strength then. Yeah, Sam, this is going to be one of my faster runs. I. Uh, I believe. <laughs> Look at the tokens on on Dismas just from the start here. All right, well, that's uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Yeah. 
Ah, the fire flens. Ooh, the stress resist. Would have been nice. So we already have speed. Can you get double speed? I don't think I've ever, uh, I've ever had the opportunity to have double speed. Oh, and the crit token on Dismas. It's a thing of beauty. Okay, so she's weakened and vulnerable. I would kind of like to replace her trinket that's just generating random uh, random buffs. It's good when it works, but it's few and far between. Bravo. <laughs> the crits. The crits, I tell ya. Oh, weak hit from Paracelsus. Even with Surgeon and that crazy trinket, we're still uh, still a bit of struggle there. Uh, hits harder and causes more stress. Sam is my uh, is my recollection of things. I think a grape shot just gets the kill, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use this opportunity to get a heal and get rid of the stress, and then I don't think uh, there's any way grape shot does not finish the fight here. Oh, and then we get the crit token to go with it. Oh, stiff drink. Con turn start, convert stealth to crit and turn end convert speed to dazed pick to the face deals more damage all right so cool trinket we haven't seen that one before but for us uh not interesting unfortunately i don't think that needs to be 80 percent. as a side note i think it would be simpler if it was just do those things now, we don't really want the storage room key, but I think I'm going to kill the librarian anyways. We need revenge from the last time we fought the librarian. And then I'm going to move Paracelsus back one just to uh, just to get the healing. Oh, we're not going to need it. Into a face surgeon. Uh, I like that, Sam. All right. Hello, the implication. This is a weird one, but we got to move the we got to move the implication forward because it's going to we're not going to we're not going to one round it. And if we knocked off the block, it was just going to put it back on. I'm gonna go for the stun with Dismiss. That's my uh, that's my plan for that uh, combo. Actually, we want we want the blind too. Hate that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to... Let's see, how do I get a heal off on you? This seems dangerous. 
if I move these two forward... Alright, this, this may be dumb of me. Oh, that's a very unfortunate game. We're going to get the kill. means we're going to have to do a bit of healing on Paracelsus, but uh, we, we lost the opportunity to get the heal early. The unrelenting application we might have been able to move Audrey too, but... Alright, we'll take all that. Now for the Librarian. Let's, we'll take a look at combat items here real quick. Yeah, Sam, that's probably what I should have done. Uh, but I didn't want it to get more more tokens. That was that was my main thinking. Uh, I think we'll probably do that. Well, let's do... Pyrotechnic Dazzlers are good. And then I think that can go... The Icker can go... One Laudanum can go. Alright. Again, we go... To the Librarian. Honestly, the fights leading up to the Librarian are almost more scary, I feel like. The library burns. And with it, the remains of philosophy, reason, and insight. I want it. I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep Paracelsus where they are until we get some healing in, I think. Intentional slow roll feels a little bad there, but a deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. Guess that was slightly bad, uh. Trying to move this guy more forward than we needed to. I guess we'll potentially get the other trophy for uh, from the librarian. Can you get the same trophy twice in a row? Or if you go twice, are you guaranteed to uh, to get the other trophy on the second round? I don't know the answer to that question. Well, we could certainly prove that that's the way that it works. Ah, uh, hastened enemies. Jeez. Good roll. The Blight Resist is a bummer. Oh, interesting. I don't really want to solo here, because it means I lose point blank shot. Eh, let's... We'll stun this guy instead. May we, may we kill this guy. Yeah, I think that's a... I think that's a fair trade. Stunning this guy since he has two actions is not that useful. Do that to get that nice big old chunky hit in. I don't think this guy survives these two. Oh, 
Oh. Ooh. All right. Kill Mr. Jiggles. <laughs> the Jiggle Physics of Nightmares. Now we didn't really change our party order to uh, to accommodate the librarian. Are we getting anything of interesting? Another charred litany we don't want. Greater heat shield we don't want. We will switch to the complete catalog. Eh. Basically a wash. The conflagration must be stopped. The librarian must be destroyed. <laughs> Dissection. An unavoidable end. A break so that's a resist, even though it was, uh. <laughs> the books keep shrinking? Sounds about right. Oh, we, we missed the 50-50 on, uh, on Busker's Hall there. That's unfortunate. We'll toss out Ounce, I think. Empowered. Emboldened. I'm really hoping that Dismas goes first. I don't, I don't know how speed is determined. Oh god, our knowledge of something, 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 something. Oh, maybe I don't want Dismiss to go first. Oh, that, that works out perfectly, actually. Uh, oh, he just removes combo? How cool of him. A breakthrough. How extremely cool of him. Audrey's going to have a hard time being too effective here. Probably a question... I probably should have put the, the speed on Sarmenti. Oh, whatever. I'll pirouette the freaking books. I don't care. <laughs> I just want to get a heal on, uh, on Paracelsus. That's, that's like all I really care about here. Um, <laughs> I've been fighting the librarian for the last hour, Jason. <laughs> All right, slightly annoying there. Mostly I just want the heal on Paracelsus. We're still pretty bad at fighting the librarian, though, I will say. Uh, I expected this to be a bit more of a steamroll, but it was, uh, it was not exactly. get wrecked. I know, I just I just need Sarmenti's turn to get around. I I definitely botch things a little with uh Let's see. A little help impeccably timed. All right. Let's let's finish this fight off. I'm I'm done with you, Librarian. Comparatively still far better than last time.
Really? You're still alive? Wow. Yeah, it did, Jason, unfortunately. I can still see your messages, but that's about it, uh, unfortunately. Uh, the uh, It's still working for Twitch, and it's still working for, uh, for Discord, but it is not working for YouTube because they... I think YouTube has done something funny with their, their API quotas, so unfortunately, uh, we're... We're a bit, we're a bit at their mercy, and I'm gonna spend the weekend trying to figure out what. Uh, I guess I have to take it all. What what exactly is going on with it? But yeah, it's giving me some some max uh, retry exceeded types of errors. So that means something is failing, and I just don't know exactly what. Okay, let's see. Not gonna use the charred litany. Not going to use a greater heater shield, nor the buttressing band, nor the HP, nor that. Don't need to stack relics much higher. Almost as bad as the exemplar that will uh, that will inevitably ruin our fun any moment now. Let's see, we don't really need these anymore, so I'll just put like. Some grenades like that, and then I'll toss the Warhorn back into the mix. And just get rid of those, because we're not going to use them. All right. Yeah, we, uh, we don't have any smoke bombs, which makes me very nervous about the Exemplar. Uh... I don't like uh, I don't like fighting exemplars without a deep cache of uh, of goodies. We're gonna we're gonna find out the hard way if if brute forcing the exemplar with damage is a uh, is a viable strategy. <laughs> I suspect it may not be. These things resisting blight has been... Yeah, why do they have 30 blight resist? I would love to know the lore on why the the fire characters have uh, have a bunch of that. Yeah, Jason, give me a give me a second. I'll do it right after this fight. Uh, happy to uh, happy to share. It's nothing. It's nothing really to write home about. Uh, I would say our, our trinkets are still pretty weak. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to get Paracelsus a heal. Maybe I don't. I think I think I just end it. The dots ticking we're gonna do more damage than we probably would have healed anyways. The one pleasant in the extreme. This work is noble. Light resist. Holy beads. What is this stacking of pulstices? Will not aid us. Okay, we're good. So trinkets, at least at the moment, we have Snappy Swig on Dismas and Enlightened Element on Dismas. Uh, Paracelsus is rocking the Wounding Words and a Dark Impulse with uh, Stress Damage. Audrey is rocking True Entropy and a Raven's Reach. I would replace the True Entropy, given the option. And then Sarmenti is rocking Busker's Hull and Distracting Dust. Uh, we have a lot of trinkets that I would replace. Unfortunately, we have not had, uh, not had the opportunity. We did forsake that one severed finger that I wish we had taken on Sarmenti. That could have been a run-definingly cool item, but...
and I think we're going to have more mastery than we necessarily need. I'm kind of curious about what I think the Psy is going to be is going to be rough. I'm I'm feeling like maybe the exemplar fights will be somewhat okay, but the uh I think the Psy is going to be really tough cuz we we're rarely in a position where Paracelsus can drop heals and we haven't found any healing solve. So Yeah, Sluice instead of Severed Finger, Jason. And we got three, uh... We got three Mastery out of it, which felt pretty good at the time. Yeah, yeah, Elaine. I've had some pretty insane, uh, some pretty insane versions of those two trinkets working in concert. Uh, early on, I I stacked up some pretty disgusting uh, dots. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's gonna if it's gonna play well in the in the long run here, because uh, the healing is gonna be such a problem. Please front mortar. Ah, oh, boo. Ah, boo. Spreading the damage there probably wasn't the, the best plan. I feel like I'm just having a hard time. Oh my gosh, the stress just keeps coming off, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna laud them just to make it a little better and then zap you. Yeah, the Plague Doctor, I feel like, is constantly, perpetually, slightly low on health. They so and we're gonna, we're gonna need to get them into position two a little bit, because we're gonna need indiscriminate science at the very least. We need some healing solve. Yeah, we need a lot of things. I don't know. I think we're going to be not particularly well equipped, and we're going to be going into the side to just uh, burn it down, which uh, feels kind of like a recipe for disaster, but... I don't feel like we can swap to not... Uh, hold on, dismiss you. Uh, it's mostly you and Sarmenti that needs fixing, but... You and Audrey, you at least benefit. Okay. Yeah, the abilities that I want to use on basically everyone are the move back abilities. <laughs> Get dead. I, you know, Elaine, I, I feel like it needs to be someone who has some competent stress healing. Uh, yeah, indeed, Patrick. And so my inclination has always been to say uh, Houndmaster, but okay, that that pushback is potentially okay. Although I need to not not swap on Sarmenti to eventually have Paracelsus do some work. So I guess I'll just do it this way. Yeah, Houndmaster I think could be great. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, it's it's tough to say. Yeah, something completely new would also be really cool, for sure. But so I, I think we need more dedicated healers and dedicated stress healers. That is the... Uh, that is the short version. I think our, our damage dealer roster is pretty good. But uh, we we are lacking a little bit in the... Oh my gosh, how much is this guy gonna, gonna take? 
Uh, we're lacking in, in the support classes. Yeah, Sarmenti's, Sarmenti's health is really just very volatile thanks to, uh, thanks to that damage trinket. But I can't really, I can't really see us getting rid of it. Uh... Ooh, L, L dot A dot. That's a really interesting idea. All right, we need to take everything. Yeah, like like a kind of like a counterpart to the antiquarian almost could be really interesting. We're gonna have enough ways to get rid of stress, so I'm gonna get rid of that. We're gonna keep that for lighting things on fire, and then. There we go. All right. I would prefer to do a fight. All things being equal. Yeah. But yeah, we're coming up to our first exemplar. Which will be the delight that it always is. I do find it strange that the, the fight order that they go with for the final two Kulsus fights is Exemplar first and then Deacon slash uh, Cardinal. It feels a little backwards to me. Oh my word. Wow. Okay, so we're not going to fight. We're going to lose money and take rep damage. Okay. Sure game. I'm not going to... Not going to foul up two relationships at the 11th hour for some mastery or resources that we probably don't need. We did cross the 100 uh, trinket threshold. And I think we're getting discounted trinkets anyways. Yeah, we're getting discounted trinkets. So hopefully there'll be a couple things in the inn to, uh, to benefit us. But here comes a guardian fight. Okay. Slightly nervous about how much time we're going to have to take this guy down. He's not ordained, though, so it's not too bad. <laughs> Dwight. That is, uh, that's one solution for sure. Uh, that's, that's amazing. Alright, love to see you not acting, you absolute monster. Stress monster. I've I've had good luck with the exemplar so far, Dwight, but uh I I expect that my my good luck is gonna come to an end. Uh let's see. Kinda wanna go for the big hit on well how big is this hit 10 to 18 that's not that great let's get more speed so we can really blitz them next time yes uh so so jason the way that busker's hall works what wait why was he not dead oh wait how did you get two blight audrey gives four blight what this gives four blight. What in the world happened? Oh, it was the combo attack from the plague doctor that added the blight. I didn't even check. Oh my gosh, that was that was disastrous. Wow. All right, fair enough. Was not that catastrophic. But yeah, so so Busker's Hall, the, the way I am reading Busker's Hall now is not if rank one, it's if you enter rank one. Or, or yeah, if you're in rank one at the end of your turn. So you, when when I solo, I get I move to the front and then someone gets a positive token. And the positive tokens have been really uh 
really pretty exceptionally good so far. And Emboldening Vapors has been great for canceling out the days, uh, I will say. I wanted to strip that while also killing the corpse. Uh, Keep on coming forward, little cherubic monster. But yeah, the, that was very sneaky that the blight was applied by our plague doctor. Uh, that uh, that caught me off guard. All right, exemplar fight for a bunch of max HP that we're not going to use. Cool. Well, we got to do it. Good start, good start. Oh, we did get an exalted exemplar. That's that's the plan right now. Oh, I, I want actually hold on. I want a crit with the scrap grenade. Because this is still high percentage chance for a crit. The fact that this is ordained, though, is not great. Uh, that's not great. <laughs> that's not great. And we're in no position for... That was a great heal, Dismas. You're a genius. Does she just not get healed because of that? Uh, let's see. How do I... So here's what I'm thinking right now, and this is going to sound a little weird. Um... How much does it have left? 56? All right, I think we I think we just go for broke and hope that she doesn't get targeted by anything. So I didn't see any weakness tokens on her. That was that was kind of what I was wondering about. Uh So here's the, okay, you have stun chance at 75, so we're not going to stun you. Um, so if I move forward, all the actions are going to happen. So I, but I just didn't see them show up, Jason. I, uh, but yeah, I think, I guess I'm going to go for the, the, uh, the 25% chance here. Put the damage in. All right. We could blind. Oh, we don't have the crit either. This is going to be bad. I, I didn't think the blind was worth it because there are too many actions, Sam. Okay, Pillar of Sacrifice is to be expected. That's good. Actually, that leaves the corpse. This is huge. Alright. Paracelsus is going to take a big chunky hit here, but... Yeah, this is the problem we're going to have with the Seething Sigh as well. Ah... Uh... Now, I seem to remember you have uh, more Death's Door than common sense here. Uh, I don't really want her to take a big old hit from the riposte, but... Okay, we got very lucky with that Death's Door. Um, so, 
So yeah, so this is the same problem we're gonna have with the uh, with the seething sigh is that we don't have a uh, we don't have any reliable heals at all, basically. Uh, so we've been able to burn everything down in the interim, but the Milk Soak Lynn and I might take into the final fight. We, we have trinket discounts, so we'll do that. But, uh, but yeah, we need, we need a lot of items that yield heals. <laughs> we need adrenaline tonics. We need... Yeah, we need very lucky amorous heals, although they don't, uh, they, they never come when you actually want them, so. I thought for a second there we were gonna get, uh, gonna get some healing solved just as our inventory filled up. But yeah, I don't know. I think, uh, this is gonna be a really tough, uh, a really tough side because the side does a really good job of blinding and getting in the way, etc. Fear of fish folk, necrophobe, and amateur weaponsmith. Okay. I don't. Ah, maybe the storage room key is the play. Well, let's see what trinkets we have on sale. Oh, that's a slap in the face. Thanks, game. Okay, songbook, songbook is good. That's, yeah, that's really... Maybe we get grab some invigorating intoxicants because we're just going to be sitting on death's door for so long. I don't know how long the buff lasts, though. Well, we can buy basically everything, so... We shouldn't be too timid. The inevitable end of your journey awaits Nine mastery that we're not going to use much of, I don't think. Let's see. Since we have the Songbook of Rousing Tunes, I think I think we can give everyone stake and spuds. Oh, that may have been a mistake, actually. Oh, I haven't used the Songbook. There we go. Good. <laughs> good deal. Uh, you... Do you have anything good? Iron Stance and Amateur Armor Smith. I wouldn't like to lose Amateur Armor Smith, but that's okay. I guess with the Holy Beads, we had a decent chance of getting back to where we needed to. So, I'm wondering if we try and use Storage Room Key. Because Paracelsus is going to be just swinging away from the front, and maybe Wounding Words is more beneficial over here on Audrey. Three turns. I'm, I, would be, I would be equipping this exclusively for the 33% chance at a heal if we use Emboldening Vapor. We're never going to use Emboldening Vapor, I don't think. Uh... But this is, this is as trash as they come. Produces traps is not interesting for us. I guess it's slightly more interesting than the alternative, although I don't know if we can actually get anything out of it. We'll grab that, grab that. Oh, wow. We had less money than I thought we did. Oh, well. Didn't get the speed buff there, nor there. Okay, people who... All right, we'll do that and that, and then restorative herbs. I don't know that it matters too much who we put these on. Those can go away, but we got none of the things that I wanted. So just a little taller at the end. We already have slice off. Might use encore. Might use razor's wit.
I don't think the stuns are that useful, but maybe. Absinthe, we definitely want to pick up. Repartee. We could go for like a repartee type of build. We just don't have reliable stealth and it takes a long time to set it up. Well, Shadow Fade makes it easier too. Maybe we do something weird for the final boss like that. I think we have slots on uh, on Audrey. But this is a this is a paltry pile here. Each improvement, a new variable in the equation of your fate. I don't think storage room key gets played. Okay. And what do we have for gear that we're holding? It's also trash, right? Do that. This is this is gonna be this is gonna be rough. We have basically nothing. We have no money left, so we weren't gonna be able to pick up any of that. We should have bought the Caltrops. That was a miscalculation on my part, but alright, here goes nothing. <laughs> 